Okay, I want to address some of the problems with this video because they've been going on my videos and posting stupid comments. First off, let me say this. So, I'm being declared a racist as somebody who preaches division because I talk about black people working together, black people loving each other, black people helping each other build, black people supporting each other. Okay, if that's what it is, then that's what it is. But that's what I'm about. So you don't have to be on my page, okay? I, I'm here when I speak. I speak to black Americans who are dealing with things because we understand what we're going through. So now, for the person that said, well, you know, y'all not doing anything different than we are. We're going through the same thing. It's all one country. No, it's not one country. The way black Americans have to raise our kids is completely different than how the Palms raise their kids. The way black Americans have to sort of monitor and kind of be my conscious of certain things when we go out. The fact that when we go to a job in some places, black Americans don't feel comfortable being around each other too long for the simple fact of they go, oh, it's a gang. It's threatening. They're up to something. You know, you can have your Confederate flags on your bikes. You can have Confederate flags in your office. Let us put a picture of Malcolm X up with a sign that says, by any means necessary in our office. Oh, y'all have a fit. <gasps> Violence. We don't live the same life. This may be one planet, but it's definitely two damn different worlds for y'all and us. This may be one planet, but it's definitely two damn different worlds for y'all and us. This may be one planet, but it's definitely two damn different worlds for y'all and us. And for the person that said, well, you know, you gave us uh, that analogy about uh, having to build a bridge and how big your bridge has to be compared to ours. That's not that's unrealistic. No, it is very realistic. For those of you who didn't see the video, I said for the fact that if a palm is hired to build a bridge that is 15, hired to build a bridge, they, and they, that's 15 feet, even though the bridge is 15 feet, we would have to build one that's 300 feet, twice as high. And if the budget is $100,000, they can go up to $250,000. We would have to come under $100,000. We would have to build that bridge for 300 feet, twice as high, but we had to do it for about $40,000 or $50,000. That's the reality of being a black American. We have to do things twice as hard. We have to work twice as hard. We cannot be average. We cannot be average. For us to be average, I mean, we're, some of us have multiple degrees and we're still being overlooked. So we have to be so far above average that it's ridiculous. We have to reach the exceptional standpoint to whereas you're just at the, where the palms are just average or below average. And they're still getting ahead of black Americans who are at exceptional status. The way I've yet to teach our, teach our kids about how to deal with the police. Do you have to do that? If your wife is going to wear a natural hairstyle, are they going to say something to her at work? Black people are trendy. They are creative. They are stylish. Black Americans can do it. We can rock it with confidence. But you get afraid of that. So now it becomes an issue on the job. All of a sudden, it doesn't fit the... Uh, policy and procedures for the dress code have to sort of downplay our confidence, downplay our intelligence. You get offended. How about the fact that we're standing at a counter in a store, a movie theater, or something like that. How hey, y'all would just walk up while we placing our order or whatever. While we're doing our, y'all just walk up. Just start talking, just take over. Because y'all have that mindset of entitlement how about the fact when we're standing in line or we're standing somewhere y'all standing right on our backs and then when we look turn around and look at you like what you're like what's wrong with him he's angry she's angry no you're in our personal space you don't respect personal space and you don't listen and for the one person that said, oh, you know, uh, you know, if you guys would just really learn how to communicate, we've been communicating for 400 years. John Stewart, one of y'all, even made a whole little video series about how y'all are not listening. 
It's been said in music. It's been said in movies. It's been said in plays. It's been said in interviews. It's been said so many times. And y'all still don't listen because you don't, you're in, you're incapable and unwilling to comprehend anything when it comes to black Americans. And the point now where black Americans are tired. And when I say tired, I don't mean that black Americans are tired to the point of giving up. What I'm saying is black Americans are tired to the point where they are fed up. It is beyond angry. See, you should have tried to reason with black Americans when they was angry. Because when they was angry, you probably could have talked to them. You probably could have got some leeway. Now, I'm not trying to speak for all black Americans, but I'm sure a great majority agree with me. But black Americans are tired. And right now, it's like, you know what? We ain't trying to hear it no more. Black Americans are fed up. That's why you have what happened in Montgomery. Black Americans are fed up. They're fed up. We are fed up. We are fed the fuck up. And we're tired of the bullshit from y'all. We're tired of it. The systemic racism, the stuff y'all, the stuff y'all do and play, the games you play in politics. Black Americans are tired of it. And we simply don't want to hear it anymore. We tired of y'all trying to pit us against each other. We tired of y'all trying to make our black women look bad. We tired of y'all coming for us black men. We tired of y'all betraying us in a negative way in these movies and TV shows. Black people are simply tired of it. We've had enough. So yes, I do talk about black unity. I do talk about black love. But I never talk about hurt or harm. But I would never tell a black American not to protect yourself. The truth is, we are just fed up. And we just simply want to be left alone. Stop calling the police on us for bullshit. We, we're, we're sick of it. We're trying to do our thing now. And we're trying to do it together. Everything we do, you try to steal. We're just fed up. 